at 3 41 a.m you have to be a true soldier you have to be an entrenched war general of a taxi driver to do this job at this time give me one second Get back. Oh my god. Alright, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing well, taking care of yourselves as always, and welcome back to the summer marathon, bro. I got a good one for y'all today. It's uh listen, we're back in Gotham City, bro, because this one is titled That a masked man opens fire on a taxi driver after not being able to pay his tab. I'm guessing they're saying like he wasn't able to pay for his ride, bro. So I got a lot of other clips to take a look at as well. This is going to be another crazy late night banger for me. So with that being said, I don't got much else to say. Besides, I hope you guys have been enjoying the summer marathon so far. We're just getting started, bro. We're on a crazy, crazy grind right now. So if you're seeing it, make sure you sub up and join us. And uh, yeah, let's take a look at this. Oh, yeah, I forgot one thing. Just in case this is too crazy, no one was harmed or injured. I don't condone none of this. We're only taking a look at this for educational and awareness purposes. Yeah, I know this platform can be soft as shit sometimes. So, yeah, no one was harmed or injured. Let's take a look at this. All right, so I don't know if you guys can see the time at the bottom because it's extremely small and it is cropped up a little bit, but this happened about four days ago from the time I'm recording this video. It happened just now in May and the video we're watching is at 3.41 a.m. You have to be a true soldier. You have to be an entrenched war general of a taxi driver or of an Uber, of a driver in general, bro, driving people around to do this job at this time. I told y'all this beforehand, bro. Being an Uber driver, being a taxi driver is one of the most dangerous jobs on the planet. Go through my channel, bro. We've literally taken a look at an Uber driver get tricked and set up to go to old block and got his ass beats. We've seen an Uber driver get a knife pulled on him, a gun pulled on him, all kinds of stuff. So to do that at this time, bro, when the demons are out, see, I know who, most people who lurk super late at night, I'm talking about they're outside at night, they're probably at a party, bro, or something drunk off of drugs or just demons. Let's see, though. I might have to pay you extra. Give me one second. Get back? Huh? Going back? Yeah, I might have to. I don't mind charging the extra. Oh, God. This is an Uber, buddy. You're getting me tight. Hold on. Did he just put the whole thing on? Yeah, he did. Look, pay attention to his face. Y'all see his ski mask or shiesty, whatever you want to call it. You see how it's not as attached to his eyes right here? Uh, this is it. The next cut, you see how close it is now? He pulled it down. That means he means business. He, listen, I know he's in the moment, but this is one of those things you pick up on, bro. You got a young dude in the back of your car with a shiesty on in New York City. You're cooked. You're done. If you piss off this dude in any kind of way, I'm not saying you should be a bit, but I'm just saying one thing that I learned from making all these crazy videos is that the young generation nowadays, especially, I mean, I, I say that as if I'm literally not a part of it, <laughs> but I'm talking about the misguided crazy ones, bro. The ones that be in gangs and shit, they are dangerous. I swear to God, because they don't care. They will actually do it to you. The violence nowadays is beyond indis it's just indiscriminate. You hurt his ego a little bit, he'll take your life. No problem. He has no problem at all. Because it's glorified nowadays, bro. Uber, buddy. You get me tight. Oh shit. Oh my god, see? <laughs> what kind of...
kind of loser shit. This is exactly who you're dealing with when you live in Gotham City, bro. I'm telling y'all this shit. So this man just got pissed off at this taxi driver for taking him to his location. He get no, 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 no. He got pissed off because he couldn't pay his bill. He couldn't cover the cost of this trip. So instead of begging the guy to forgive him or to let him slide and, and saying hey man i'm struggling or some shit nah what bro decides to do is literally hop out the car in the middle of him driving get not even just that not walk away not run away in shame because he just robbed this man technically right he got a free trip out of him he didn't pay him but instead this 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 goblin this goon turns around and shoots at bro man he literally airs it out y'all saw that this is exactly who you're dealing with when you are in Gotham City. And to do this, to do this job at this time at the night, brother, why are you outside at 4 a.m. <laughs> picking up a dude with a shiesty on? I mean, <sighs> life is crazy. Let me run that back one more time, bro. Look at this shit. Look, he got out in the middle of traffic. Look, 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 look. Pulled it out. Look, look. Yeah, and that's pretty much the clip. And you know what's crazy, bro? He probably didn't even get caught because uh, technically, if bro was smart and he didn't use his real name or like face or whatever on his Uber app or taxi app, he probably got away with this. And that's the scary part because, you know, in all the movies and the shows, at least for me, bro, I thought the cops, like, you know, I used to watch Detective Conan as a kid, bro. And I always thought like the cops would always have this crazy good investigator, all these detectives. The forensics team would be like main characters, basically, bro. People who know exactly what they're doing and all the murders usually get, you know, solved in a few days. You grow up and you realize quickly that that is not the case at all. There is a lot of people who get ended and they're no one knows no one's caught no one's held to, to account no one's held to justice so my point is i'm very glad and happy that my boy made it out safely and didn't get hurt because he really could have and if he was to get ended in this situation and they weren't able to find that that little dumbass right there it would have been tragic bro it would have been a, a bad way to go out so this is why you got to take your safety into your own hands, man. And if you're an Uber driver, you honestly, if they allow you, bro, stay strapped. You got to. You have to. Because this is like a bad way to go out, bro. To get shot at by somebody who's literally behind you in the back seat. You got no way of knowing when it's coming. You got no way. It's scary, bro. It's a brave ass job. And I'm really not like saying that for no reason. It really is. Dealing with strangers alone is headache inducing but driving people around in your car i props to y'all that do it bro seriously but anyways y'all can let me know what y'all think about that i'm gonna go ahead and move on to our second video which is titled something diabolical it says an international student tells a canadian girl he will end her after she rejects him on the side of the road what's up with all these losers bro what is going on Bro, the biggest loser shit you can do is, is crash out over a girl, bro. Let alone a girl that you don't even know that just rejected you. You really have to be a loser. So, let's see. Oh, so we're dealing with a Paji in this situation. And by the way, I don't know why it's formatted like this. Bro has a big ass caption taking up half the screen. But regardless, if you've ever had to deal with a Pajit, you know that they can be extremely, extremely annoying to deal with. Even as a guy, bro. I remember the worst customer service I got, the worst interaction I had with a gas station clerk was this, was this like Pajit. And there's a difference between, like when I say Paji, I'm not generalizing all Indians, bro. Obviously not. It's just a specific kind, bro. It's like this piece of shit who's too desperate to let a girl say no to him that he's willing to say that he's going to end her. But anyways, bro, I had this one experience where, where I had went inside to this gas station and paid, bro, $20 in cash to fill up gas, right? 
I go back to my car and the pump doesn't work. It has like a malfunction. Every time I press the um 87, it wouldn't fill up. So I go back inside, bro. And bro has the audacity to tell me to my face that it's too late, that it's been two minutes and I can't get my money back because I was supposed to fill my car up. Basically, it was the first time I had to put somebody in their place, bro, for trying to play me like a dumbass. He literally tried to rob me out of 20 bucks. So that's what I mean when I say a pajit, and it seems like we're dealing with one right here. No, but I can do everything for myself. Hold on. She said, I have money, I can buy you whatever you want, I can do anything for you. Can't hear, but also said, I came here with $50,000. No, but I can do everything for myself. Give it up, bruh. Can't hear, but he kept saying, no, I love you. I love you, please. <laughs> No, no, no. You're saying this to me because you're not into me. Because if white or black boy come up to you, you give your number. This is a Paji, ladies and gentlemen. And it's the worst kind of person you could ever be displeasured with having to deal with. My God. Bro just played every single victim card in the books. You're rejecting me because you're, 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 you're racist? I said I love you 70 times, even though I don't know you. How are you? I, why are you rejected? Oh, my God, bruh. Do that. Wow, hold on, let me run that back. Look, he said, Yeah, because you're racist, F you, I'll kill you. I mean, damn, bro, that's kind of a fast switch of hearts. Bob's Vegan, like, damn, bro, what's up with you? Literally, three seconds ago, he was telling her, Please, I have 50k, I'll spoil you, I love you. Two seconds later, bro's literally threatening to end this woman, bro. I, I don't know what to say about this besides. <laughs> that's just tough. Y'all can let me know what y'all think about that. I'm telling y'all, being desperate over a female is never it. And obviously, I feel like I don't even have to tell y'all that. I'm talking specifically to these weirdos, bro. Like, ending a girl because she rejected you. Beating a girl because she rejected you. Doing this shit. Threatening her because she rejected you. Playing a victim. It just proves that you're an insecure little shit. That's all it does, bro. There's billions of females on this planet. If one rejects you, that doesn't mean you have to crash out, loser. Like, what's up with you? I'm not talking about just him. I'm talking about all these losers we've been taking a look at, bro. And this just proves my point again that the ladies got to protect themselves. Yeah, anyways, I have a lot of other clips, bro. But I'm going to save these for another video because I'm going to be fully honest with y'all. I'm recording this extremely late and your boy is just going to go ahead and crash out. So, yeah, I'll definitely keep those next clips for the next video. So stay tuned for that. And the summer marathon continues. I appreciate y'all for being here. Y'all take care of yourselves. I'm out.